Everyone's taken probiotics lately, but do they actually do anything for your gut? As a gastroenterologist, I get this question nearly every single day. And here's the truth. The evidence isn't as strong as the marketing makes it seem. Probiotics are live microorganisms meant to help your gut, but not all of them are created equally. Most over-the-counter blends have not gone through rigorous trials for testing. And even if they have, the results still depend on the specific strain and the condition that you're trying to treat. Here's what the data really shows. Antibiotic-associated diarrhea, lactobacillus rhamnosus GG, and saccharomyces boulardii can reduce the risk of diarrhea when taking it in conjunction with a antibiotic. Ulcerative colitis and pouchitis. Multi-strain probiotics like Visbiome or VSL number three can help maintain remission and prevent pouchitis in certain patients. IBS, bloating, and gut health. The results are a little bit inconsistent. Some small studies show mild improvement, but the results are temporary and usually fade once you stop taking the probiotic. If you're eating a balanced, high fiber diet, you probably don't need a probiotic. Focus instead on foods that support your gut bacteria, like kefir, yogurt, kimchi, and fiber-rich plants, like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and carrots. Those foods do a lot more for your gut than supplements could ever do not just by nourishing good bacteria, but also by helping you feel full and limiting overconsumption of calories. So before you spend $50 on a gut reset, check the evidence and maybe start with your plate first.